If we have anybody new watching, if you have anybody on here that doesn't know how to read a radar, here's a quick meteorology 101 for you. Uh, this over here is the reflectivity. Okay, we love the reflectivity. It's the prettiest one. Uh, and this is probably the one that you're most uh, familiar with too, okay? This basically just shows you the intensity of precipitation uh, in a general vicinity. The darker the reds um, and the yellows and stuff, the heavier the rain and the better chance that you're going to see hail. Uh, this, on the other hand, is the most useful part of a radar, in my opinion, uh, during a tornado outbreak. Anyways, a Doppler radar or a radar, a dual pol polarization radar, I can see into the clouds, okay? And it's amazing the uh, technology that we have, okay? Not only can it, can it see into the clouds, but it can see what kind of stuff's in there, what direction everything's going, and that's what the velocity does, okay? So basically, this tells us in what direction and at what speed the hydrometeors or the water droplets in the clouds are moving. And you can see right here, the greens show stuff going towards the radar and the red show stuff going away from the radar. So anytime you get stuff going away from the radar and towards the radar in a close general vicinity, that means we got some rotation. Now, this isn't the most insane couplet of rotation I've ever seen. Uh, however, it is there. And uh, the storm definitely has other attributes of a tornadic supercell thunderstorm. You can see the inflow coming in here. You can see a little bit of what looks like a rear flanking downdraft on the backside there. Uh, we got uh, almost 11,000 people watching right now. I'm sure not everybody understands how to read a correlation coefficient. Um, I'm gonna explain it once again. So uh, this bottom right side of the radar that we're looking at here, uh, basically, if we zoom out, what this does is it scans the cloud and it says, okay, so most of everything in this cloud is about the same size. Okay, we got some raindrops out there. We got some hailstones. But whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on down here near Hornsville? Okay, there's some oddly shaped stuff in the cloud. There's bricks in the cloud. Why are there bricks in the cloud? But why are there wood planks and shingles and tree limbs in the clouds? It doesn't correlate uh, with the raindrops. Therefore, we have a drop in the correlation coefficient there in Hornsville. So we literally have debris in the clouds here um, that will likely fall somewhere around the Rives area as that uh, a tornado uh, continues to move through. This has been on the ground now for a while and it doesn't look like it's going to give up anytime soon. I'm telling you, that is a, a classic uh, image of a supercell thunderstorm. This will be studied for a while. Whenever I say that there's rotation or I think the tornado's here or there, uh, mostly what I'm looking at is this side of the radar, okay? And this is what we call the velocity, all right? Let's have a little meteorology 101, how to read a radar here. Uh, basically, what this is, is uh, the radar sends out beams of data, all right? And it, it receives it back in a way that uh, tells it how fast the uh, the moisture or the hydrometeors in the air are, are going and also in what direction they're going. All right. So if you got stuff, any kind of stuff in the air whatsoever, um, and it's uh, going towards the radar, uh, the radar knows that and it knows how fast it's going towards the radar. And if it's going away from the radar, it knows that and it knows how fast it's going away. So it displays that information here by showing us the green, that stuff going towards the radar, and the red is stuff going away. And obviously the more intense of the color there, the, the, the brighter the green, the faster it's going, the brighter the red, the faster it's going. And whenever you see an area uh, where there's uh, a lot of green and red close to each other, that can indicate that there's some rotation there. And a lot of times in a supercell thunderstorm, there'll be one part of the storm that has some green and some red. And you're like, okay, cool, that's where the tornado is. But in a situation like this, you have a lot of convergence between those inbounds and outbounds and uh, you know tornadoes can pop up anywhere along that um, th that portion of uh, the the storm so you have to be very careful and just kind of watch the entire thing now you can zoom in and kind of focus on little areas like this that look a little bit more interesting um, you can uh, you know focus on places r right here next to a dare that look a little bit more interesting but you know if you're out there and you're in Guthrie Center right now or Hamlin or Coon Rapids um, my advice for you would be to not pay too much attention to these colors and the intricacies of how a radar works and just go ahead and get in your safe spot. Go ahead and get there. Don't wait on that tornado warning.